it kind of did, like on the like bites. But after that, it kind of oh, yeah, looks normal. Yeah, this is a crocodile bite. This is a snake bite over here. <laughs> this is a bite from a freaking koala bear. I don't fucking know. <laughs> His arms actually look surprisingly masculine. What? Just kidding. <clears throat> Yeah, the episode I showed Matt, uh, he was letting himself get bit by a tarantula hawk. Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> his arm swelled up so bad, like, it was just two times <coughs> the size of his other arm, like his forearm. Mm. Like, why? Like, um, why I not, guess. I guess. Uh. Are we live? Yeah. We are live. What's we up? are rolling. <coughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. rolling. Oh, how popular that used to be. Oh, shit. Yeah. Red top motherfucker. What was it back in the day? Limbiscuit, Kid Rock? Who else? There's a lot. A lot of what? Shitty rock bands. Early 2000s. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure that was like the golden age of music. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Basically. <clears throat> that was like the best thing ever, you know. Fucking anything for the nookie, dude. <laughs> Whatever, Whatever you say. Whatever one is the best. I mean, what anything biscuit? Britney Spears? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't be talking shit about my Britney. I fucking love her. Leave Britney alone. <laughs> Leave Britney alone. <laughs> that was me. <clears throat> Seriously. And that's your girl? Yeah. You're my girl, Brit. Dude, it's been like 10 years since she like shaved her head and freaked out. She's still making music, right? No. Yeah. I mean, well, no, kind of. I mean, <laughs> she lip syncs along to it. I mean, she lip syncs in Vegas and people pay to go see it. Didn't you pay to go see it? I fucking what? did and it was amazing. <laughs> it was so amazing. I mean, it was worth. I think it was worth it to get... The spot that we did, we bought general admission floor seat, damn floor tickets, and we were there and right on the barricade. So she was like as close as maybe you and I are, maybe a little bit further. Like I saw you could her smell her pussy from where you were standing. <laughs> it was glorious. <laughs> I can't really say much about her lip syncing though, because I listen to Korean pop and a lot of them mm-hmm. lip sync. She was cool as fuck. I I enjoyed it. Like she was definitely. I mean. I think she still got it. She's definitely really cute and quirky in her performance. Like it was just it was fun watching her dance and do her thing. She's still it's Britney, Britney, bitch. She's Britney, bitch. No lie, when she came out, I cried. Like I don't know what came over me, but I was just like, <laughs> um, okay, I for, I forgot to write down everything that I had on my phone. Well, it's not like I had anything on my phone anymore. Anyway. <laughs> then fuck so, it. So uh, wing it. <clears throat> Yeah, well, I mean, we were winging it anyway. The topics are going to be October, upcoming Halloween shit. Um, Hugh Hefner. We could do that now. Can I mean, talk I about guess. That? Yeah, we could just, I guess we could. Um, go ahead and push the button. Do you want to leave it cracked? In case you want to smoke? No, I'm not going to smoke. No, okay. I'll crack wow. you. Go ahead and close it. <laughs> then y'all motherfuckers getting hot boxed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Good luck. This one mask. That's right. I wanted the laptop right here. Right in front of me. No, not right in front of me. You good? Oops. Dropping shit. I'm actually surprised and happy that my new job doesn't drug test. Nice. I mean, I'm still not going to smoke because I don't smoke, but just that comfort of since all my friends smoke and I'm around them all the time. True. Yeah. It's nice to know that that won't affect me. Don't be a bitch. (laughs) I've had my days of smoking. I don't miss it. I made stupid decisions. Those are like the best decisions, though. Okay. True. I think I moved it well enough that it didn't mess up the recording. One time when we were recording, I accidentally hit this and it made it skip. 
over and over and over again, and we got through like almost half of the podcast <laughs> before I realized it, and I was like, "Oh fuck!" That was one one of our best pod or one of our like our better, better episodes. episodes. Oh shit! And we're like, mm-hmm. "What the fuck?" <laughs> but it's okay; they were cool. <clears throat> All right. So we talking shit on that stuff. We ready yeah. to roll? Marissa yeah. told me to do a trick right now because she's watching the live feed. Oh, thanks. Bitch, I don't got tricks, but thanks for watching, babe. Red talk, motherfucker. Get down with it. Eat it. Any shit in a lover. One that fake bitches, man. I kind of smoking tank. Kicking ass on the side. Bringing that flavor. She elevating the vibe. Boom, bitty bye bye. Who's getting high? Everybody is, bitch. Watch our time flies with that real talk with a steel car. Taste it. Cheers with a twist. And your chin on your face. Yes, podcast basics. Ace it. Go with ape shit. Up the ante when they blaze and I take it in. From the gays to the scum to the friends. Every Wednesday when the day is. All enemies wish they had the synergy. This is Rad Talk. Catch an ice bag injury. Y'all moving like a motherfucking centipede. We accelerate just to devastate the industry. Hearts got the boss way. This could be the enemy. Turn that fucking mic on. I guess we'll have to see Rat Talk. <clears throat> Welcome back to Rat Talk, motherfuckers. Where we're getting high and drinking beers and doing all sorts of shit. Fuck yeah. Actually, now we're just sitting here chilling, having a good old time with, uh, as always, the beautiful Amanda Kana. What's up, what's up? And uh, with us today is Oniggity Nay, who's a returning guest. And of course, another returning guest is uh, Steve Rogers. Welcome hey. welcome back, motherfucker. Bunch of returning Glad people. To be back. <laughs> I know. Pros it is, and I know. Back for round two. Hoes exactly. and pros and shit. <clears throat> you, uh, you guys are the more experienced ones, I guess. I heard no, that I about know. you guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from the grapevine. Ah, okay. Do the great vibe. Sorry, I'm pouring my beer right now, That's which great. actually I didn't even try at the brewery. I just got because it had a cool name. Yeah, no, that was the first one uh, <laughs> me and Ryan tried. When we oh, you did out. try it? Cool. Yeah. You guys just got back from a bachelor party. Yes, yes. I, I don't know how much you guys want. <laughs> I don't know how much you guys want to talk about it, but well, I will talk about my beer that I just got yeah. <laughs> that I actually just opened. Uh, it is uh, from Stone, but it's called Punk and Drublick. I love that I love, name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Punk name. and Drublick. That's why I got it. I wasn't even going to buy anything at first, but then I saw that and I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I didn't even try it or anything, but uh, I just took a first sip and it's fucking delicious. Yeah, IPA? It's a, it's a beer they did with uh, what, no effects, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 Do you want to sip it? Do you I would love to sip around? it. Take a, take a little taster. But yeah, we uh, my brother Julian just had a bachelor party. Yeah, Julian, we fucking... Wait, where's the... Oh, yeah. There you go. I was like, wait, where's my fucking soundboard? That's fucking delicious for an IPA, especially. I don't think it's not an IPA. Yeah, it's not an IPA. No, 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 it's not an IPA. Oh, I was like, this is so smooth for an IPA. No, it's not an IPA. What kind of beer is yeah, it? Yeah, it's fucking deli- uh, delicious. Yeah, is what delicious. it is. Delicious <laughs> is the kind of beer that it is. That's but no, I, I told, yeah, I told you. I just saw the name of it, and I was like, I'll take that one. Fucking thirty-two. Thirty-two okay. was uh, six bucks. That was six bucks. Oh, that was uh-huh. only six. Yeah. Oh. Pretty I'm curious good. as to what yeah. kind of beer is it is. I can't put my finger on Pretty it. Pretty damn good. What kind is it? It's actually really delicious. It's definitely I know, but I just spilled a again. little bit right here in my arm space, so my arm's going to get fucking <laughs> sticky as fuck right Ooh. now. It'll be fine, so I'm being a bitch. <laughs> but welcome to the conversation, ladies and gentlemen. We are bringing you a whole new, brand new episode of... Uh, no, of randomness, I mean, we, we got nothing really coming up, but except October. October is always a fucking fun month to oh, yeah. to have conversations and spooky stories and mm. Halloween stories, all that cool stuff. But um, actually, the reason why I even brought it up is because my mom, shout out to mom, thank you, <laughs> yeah, <metal laughs> got us uh, Queen, uh, Queen Mary tickets for tomorrow. Fuck yeah, I'm so excited. I've never been. I've never been. In the no, I've never been you, before either. either. You've never done the Queen Mary? No, I have no. Same. Have you? you never done the Queen Mary either? Never. I heard it was pretty scary, so I'm excited, especially because we're probably not going to do Horror Nights this year. Cause well, I've, I've heard it is better than Horror Nights. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. I'm really excited. Wait, it's and... better than Horror Nights? Only because, I, I guess, because there's it's less actually, people. Oh, oh, no. Oh. I was going to say because actually. it's actually haunted. <laughs> I mean, maybe that, too. I, there's, I'm sure there's probably... <clears throat> Yeah, I've heard like people say it's like. I was gonna say because I mean, as far as like the effects go, I don't. I I doubt that it's gonna be better. I mean, Universal can do a lot of different shit because they're a fucking studio, right? So they can do one theme here and one theme there. Whereas Queen Mary, it's like you kind of know what you're getting. Mm -hmm. So they work with that. It's like more location based where. Uh, Universal, they can pretty much make anything that they want, which is what's cool about it because you see a lot of different shit. But 
I mean, if you're going one place, some people are thinking like, oh, it's only like one thing, but it's one scary ass thing. It's one scary motherfucking thing. I don't know. I never, I never been, so I'm gonna. What? What happened? The weights wait? are definitely a bitch, though, at horror. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard it's worth it. Like if you get one of those, like the front of the line passes. Yeah, passes. it's worth it, especially if you're only gonna go yeah. like once. I know other people mm. they'll get like season passes or something, and they'll do like one maze a night <laughs> or yeah. something, or one or two. Really. You can get a season pass. I for heard that, or maybe nights? I'm getting them mixed up with knots. I know you can get a, a season pass for Not I'm, Scary Farm. Mm, uh, yes, you can. you can get one yeah. for Not Scary Farm. I thought you can get one for Universal. Damn, but I'm not is that 100%. really what knots has come to? Like, <laughs> just pay for one day, you can come the rest of the year free. Just come <laughs> see our. No, shit. it's like not a season pass, but it, it, it's like a pass for just the the Scary Farm season. Yeah, it's like you yeah. just you can show up late and. Yeah, I know. Do your shit. Yeah, it's a pass. That's what a pass is. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not for like the whole year. No, I know. But I'm saying like it's for just, that short, yeah, for pass. that little yeah, short season. For that season. They're I like, mean, hey, buy a ticket. Nots buy is one okay. <laughs> Nots is, is whatever. I heard is the worst. Yeah. Same. No, Six Flags is the worst. <laughs> okay. Yeah. that's. I heard that was the worst too. Yeah. Nots is okay for what it is. Um, Universal is probably like the best of all of yeah, them. Yeah, my first well, the, my my first time going to Universal was just last year. Yeah, we went Have you together. ever been to Horror Nights? No, uh, you've never even been to Horror Nights. No, I've never been to Horror Nights. Do you Horror like? Nights. Would you want to? I or? mean, yeah, I would go. Um, it's just been I just haven't like gone. I've never been really? like oh That's shit, like, I list. really want to go. No, I mean I I don't, I don't. stand in line for two hours to go walk through a maze. I mean, just sounds like the worst shit in the world to me. I mean, it sounds like a day at Disneyland, yeah. <laughs> essentially. Mm-hmm. Um. But I mean, at least at Disneyland, you can be there all day. Yeah, you know that's true. Um, One thing that I found out that was really disappointing last year huh. was they do not sell booze at Horror Nights. Oh no. yeah, no, they do not. No. Although I'd be probably pissed off, man, walking around, have your beer, and all of a sudden somebody like runs up behind you and scares the shit out of you, and you spill your beer. Yeah, that's, <laughs> don't be a pussy, dude. Sorry. That's probably why. <laughs> I'm sorry if you get startled if somebody runs up to you. It's human no, nature. No, I think the last thing you want are a bunch of drunk people running through the maze. That, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah that's, that's true. That's a yeah. recipe for disaster. It's all right, that's mm-hmm. why you pregame. Yeah, because some of the uh, like I went to one where like the the guys in the costumes get like right up in your face, mm-hmm. like personal yeah. space. And like, if there was a <laughs> drunk person, like, you know, they're going to cause some sort of trouble. Yeah. Rule number one, personal space. See, that's another yeah, thing. That like, I, don't, I don't want just someone just running up and jumping in my face like that. Like, I'm fine. Like, I'll be <laughs> cool with it. But I mean, at the same time, like, I am a person, and I yeah. don't like people like I too mean, much in my personal. There's a space. certain level of professionalism I noticed uh, when I compare Knots and Universal. Yeah. Um, Knots was kind of lame like they would get really in your face and it got uncomfortable or they just stay there for too long like i obviously I, like i wasn't I scared. really rapey yeah they are. they are they're super fucking rapey i remember got it getting like weird vibes like they would like get all up in my face and i wasn't scared but it'd be like oh just ha, like, go cool. away you're being a troll yeah. now yeah. Like, and then they get walk away. this one chick they'd screw she, you like this <laughs> yeah <laughs> to grab your boobs. now this one like scary <laughs> chick started calling me like a whore and a slut and shit what? and i'm thinking like what? i i'm pretty sure that's not cool I'm like just standing there, like, um, okay, are you done? <laughs> what is pretty fucking cool is that job, though. <laughs> uh, what do you want me to do today, boss? <laughs> Go uh, around and call everybody a fucking whore. Just sit there and call everybody a whore. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to call him a bitch, too? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. There's just a certain uh, level like a of like cool unprofessionalism job. I noticed from Knots, but like. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It's not. I, I, I worked in a maze, like in one of those scare mazes. It's the fucking best thing ever. Did you do it for like some high school or something? No. For like a church? No, it was for the city. It was for Pomona. The city of Pomona. For Pomona, yeah, for, okay. Yeah, scare LA. Or yeah, or Scare View Farms was the, the like the That's cool. thing. I've always wanted to that. do that. that. Yeah. Well, it was at the Fairplex? <clears throat> it was at the Fairplex. And uh, yeah, I had to do an audition and everything. And I got uh, I got to be a werewolf. That's cool. I could totally see you as a werewolf, y'all mm-hmm. furry and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just took my pants off and they're like, "You're in." <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> but it was a lot of fucking fun. But man, dude, I should not. Uh, I mean, I was really drunk and like stoned oh, all the time. Like, yeah, like my my ten minute breaks consisted of me walking to the parking lot and smoking a joint there, <laughs> finishing that joint, and then having a cigarette on the way back. Jeez. And then taking a shot before going into my <laughs> going into my God. spot. Yeah, hurry up. Mm-hmm. 
had to catch my buzz and everything before. And then, oh, yeah, That's it was fun. the fucking funnest thing ever, though. Uh, the one time I did some type of scary thing, it was just for my high school. They set up a little maze through the school and I got I was in charge of one a room. Fundraiser. Yeah, essentially. I mean, I was in charge of one room. I told people where to stand, what to do, because I was like one of the like the drama kids. So I'm mm. like, all right, this is how it's supposed to be. You here, you here. We're going to put this here. So they walk this way and then you run up from behind them and yeah. scare them. Like I kind of like orchestrated, at least for like my area. And it worked out. I uh, borrowed my mom's scrubs and I just covered myself in blood and did my makeup scary. And nice. It worked. Dude, that that I'm and now that I'm thinking about it, like that shit was actually really fucking like ghetto, because like that first night, that first night opening night, when like the uh, like the testers were going, were walking through and everything, mm-hmm. yeah. they didn't tell. All they told us were like, "This is your area. This is what you're supposed to do," um, and then like they would continue with the next group and do the same thing with the people as they went along. And so we were sitting there, standing there, and, like, we have our masks off. We have our masks off, getting air, having a conversation and everything. One of the guys is, like, sitting on the bro- like sitting on the boulder that's, like, right in front. And we're just, like, we're sitting there, and we're like, yeah, like, when, like, when are they going to let people in? Like, when are, like how are they going to start doing it? And the next thing we know is they turn the fucking corner, this big, giant group of fucking kids and, like, their parents and everything turns the corner, <laughs> oh, and we're standing there, like, all out of character with our masks on top of our head, like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, time to yeah. scare some kids now. <laughs> yeah, and, like, the, the guy that was, like, leading them through the maze, like, because uh, where we were was a little section where some guy was supposed to act something out uh-huh. before he got to our big area. Yeah. yeah, and like the guy walked through and he wasn't there, so he's like, "Uh, Lazarus," like <laughs> calling his name and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that it was funny though, because we're like, "Oh <laughs> fuck," <laughs> not a good impression the first time. So actually, with what they ended up doing, we're, <laughs> they came up to us the uh, a couple hours later, and they're like, "Okay, we gave everybody whistles, so the, the, when you hear the whistle." That's when you know to get into character and everything. Got it. <laughs> All right, got it. <laughs> <laughs> that still sounds fun, though. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was really fucking cool. Like I said, I just got paid to get fucked up and scare kids. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, I used to love scaring the shit out of my mom and grandmother. and like just out of people on. in general? It carried on to like my first job where I would scare some of my coworkers. So I always wanted to like, actually try out to be something in those mazes. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I love scaring people, but never got the chance. Uh, our buddy Ivan was actually a zombie. In yeah, the Walking in the Walking Dead. Not last for, year, uh, but the year before that, they did the. And the, the year before that one, they did. Yeah, Walking I think Dead. Did it like three years in a row. Oh Something shit! Something like that. Something like that. And then the year we went, it was the Purge, which was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah. I like the scare zones that they have. Like you just like walk through, and it's just people running out. Like you don't have to wait in I, line. I actually oh, yeah, like yeah. that they have non scare zones, like areas where you can walk where you won't. You don't have to worry. Or about I get a fucking jumping. break. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're like, all right, cool. See, that you would be, change your fucking pants. That would be yeah. a good area to like have a beer if they sold beer. If they sold beer, they That'd should be have a beer do. garden. They should. That At would least be good. a beer garden. Yeah. Yeah, they sell giant mm-hmm. chicken legs. They need to sell beer to go with that. <laughs> That's true. They do have the turkey legs. Oh, yeah, turkey legs. Mm. <gasps> Imagine giant chickens that big. <laughs> <clears throat> Damn. What's the most scared you've ever been? Um. Okay, uh, I think it was back when I was in Kansas. <laughs> no, it's always this. So um, this place is actually a real place. It's called uh, Stoll, Kansas, and uh, so I'm out there. And uh, I had a couple of friends say like it was around Halloween time. They're like, we should got to go check this place out. And I'm like, what is it about? Apparently, it's like one of the gates to hell. Ooh, um, nice. Oh, nice! Shit, that's a legend. Yeah, that's a legend, and to the point where like they said like when the Pope visits America, he won't fly over Kansas. Because of this fucking place, um, what? Yeah, like uh, well, maybe it's just not in his flight pattern. <laughs> no, like they, I guess this, this is what they say. You're supposed to. Uh, they they have him. He won't fly over the state because of it. This is the old pope, not the new cool one. Oh, okay, old, old pope. Um, <laughs> the new cool one. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's like that motherfucker flies with joints in his ears and everything. <laughs> so, um, so the legend of this place was it was like this old fucking church that was on this hill and. Um, it was like uh, every year around Halloween, it's where the devil would come out, you know. And what made it really fucked up is the town is very 
quiet about it. Like they don't allow people to go there and film. They won't allow people to do interviews with anybody. Wow. Like it's just there, and they don't fucking talk about it. Like they don't really? want anybody there. So that adds to it because I'm like, if it was just some dumb thing that people made up, like town would be like, yeah, no, get the fuck out of here. We don't want you people yeah. here. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they won't talk about it. Like Holy it's shit. just. But they're like, like, wait, what? Yeah, no, they'll know. They'll just like, no, we, we Gates won't. Gates of hell. They'll kick you like they. Uh, so it was this church, and um, I guess there was a bunch of supernatural things that would happen there. Um, like you can go down in the stairs into the basement, and you you would think you'd be down there for a couple minutes, but you you come up and it's like daylight. You've been down there for fucking hours. Holy shit! What? Like, um, yeah, and so they're they're telling me all these stories of this place, and I'm like, you're full of shit. Right, that's no way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so we drove. I'm out. gonna go into the basement, <laughs> and so then we drove out there like at one in the morning after a night of drinking, and we rolled into this fucking town, and it was just dead quiet, and there was just like this like horror movie fucking fog Fuck, that's everywhere. Awesome. And so we're like, holy shit. That's you know, horrible. So it's already creepy. Sounds enough. terrifying. Know, it's it's awesomely already horrible. It's already creepy enough. I'm in a small town I've never heard of in Kansas being a black man. <laughs> I already got that fear. <laughs> and so now we're about to go to the gates of hell. So it's like, oh shit. And so we pull up on this place and they, they tore the church down because people kept coming. And so what? it's like a church on top of this hill in a cemetery that's all fenced off. And but the church isn't there anymore. No, but the, the, the foundation of the church is still there. Oh, okay. Um, so um, we, we pulled up, and it's just the whole fucking thing is just fenced off, like this tall fence. And I remember we got out of the car to get out, and it, nothing happened, but we all like just had this sunken feeling of, like, this is not right. Not mm-hmm. like like something's s- watching us. Like something heavy just came over. Like it was all fun and games until we pulled up and got out of the car, and it was all foggy. And we see the fucking where the church was, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and it's just quiet. And we go, and all of a sudden, like the the drunken like courage just like got zapped out of everybody, yeah. <laughs> and everyone's just looking at each other like, are, are we seriously gonna fucking do this? Yeah. And it got to the point where we went to the fence to hop in, and we all bitched out. Um, like I don't, I don't know. Like it went from everything is fine, like this is funny. Mm-hmm. I don't believe this bullshit to us getting out of the car, like and this being is, like fuck, yeah, this. like uh, this. No, this is not. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not doing this. And <laughs> wow. like we all, just, I don't know. What, it was such a weird feeling no. um, <laughs> of everything being fine, but just getting out and looking at it, just being like fuck. And it's nothing scary. It was just foggy, and you saw the remnants of a fucking bulldozed church, mm-hmm. and it was just that was enough to just. So nope. Like, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Getting the fuck out nope. of here. That's fucking crazy. Like, yeah. you can look this place up. Like, <laughs> yeah, they won't. They won't do fucking like nothing there. Like, no sort of filming. No, the only time like they uh, they have the cops like posted out like on Halloween because they don't want people around. But, um, and that's when like the devil's supposed to come. And so the, the police are like small town, so there's not that many, but they're there and they kick anybody out. Anyone that drives around there, turn around, and get the yeah. fuck out of here. So that just adds to wow. it, you know, and it's very, it's, that's true. That is but I very mean, fucking like, like, if like, anything, the police are there because there's, I mean, I don't really know how much I believe that shit, but like, I'm sure someone would think, oh, I'm going to hide out here and I'm going to fuck with these people because they're going to go looking for like the devil. So they're going to have people come out and then shit happens. So that, yeah. or I'm like, what I'm really thinking is either a, that it, it could be that more likely that. But it's like also like we just don't want fucking people around here. Like, it's all precautionary. Yeah, like, it's probably both. It, it, like, it's really probably both. Like, like whether like, or not this is real or not. Yeah. yeah, whether or not it's real or not, or they just want to prevent people with, from fucking with other people because yeah, there's it, idiots out there. that are just like say, nobody. Like that that could be true. Like it could all be bullshit. But like that feeling of like getting out the car, like this is bullshit. We're all gonna go do this to walking up to the fence and then like. My nuts just shrinking. Like, <laughs> like, I can't. I'm not. I'm not going to this like, fucking place. I've seen enough horror movies and, to know how this yeah. works out for people like me. And so and there, I'm, the black I'm the black. I'm the black person. I'm the black. <laughs> and it wasn't like there was like six of us that we all like crammed in the car to go to this mm-hmm. place, and like we all were like, we all just like as soon as we got into the fence, we all just bitched out and jumped back. In and the you're car. all and you're all athletes too. Like, yeah, big we're all dudes. big dudes. Yeah. Like I wasn't the biggest guy there. Yeah. Like, so we're a bunch of big. Yeah, and it was. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but that was. Like legitimate fear, where I'm like, I'm not, I'm not 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, probably because you guys crazy. didn't expect to see anything. You're like, oh, it probably isn't. Bad. But then once you got there, I'm like, holy oh, shit, fuck, this yeah. looks terrifying. This yeah. looks <laughs> ominous. What if something does happen? <laughs> and it was just so weird because it was just street and then a fence and then like a little grassy hill and then the church on top. And that's all it was. There was nothing like Damn, it was, see, it was like a, for, a creepy X-Files. forest or nothing like that. It was just that and but it, that alone it's so or mm-hmm. it's so ordinary it's eerie i mean that sounds a lot like too the uh uh turnbull turnbull canyon yeah the, yeah. the satanist mansion that's up there yeah kind of the same thing like you know people drive up there all the time like yeah let's fucking go and then as soon as they get to the gates they're like oh nah. nah yeah I'm have you ever been down. up there no but mm-hmm. i went to this other like haunted cemetery like under the like over hidden behind the 57 from like the 1800s oh yeah mm-hmm. yeah i've gone there right. and i had no issue like i walked up in there and it was creepy as fuck but i'm like it still went in mm-hmm. you know but that fucking church in kansas it was just, just like no that eerie feeling no i yeah. feel like anywhere in kansas would be like nah yeah like you go to you go to fucking kansas you go anywhere in kansas you're like all right what do i got to my left nothing nothing <laughs> what do i got to my right you nothing got, you got a wheat field right here you got this giant cornfield <laughs> over here this is farmland and then mm-hmm. just this giant road to nothing yeah maybe it was a children of the corn there <laughs> 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 children of the wheat yeah no there was that one thing like there was this another time like when i was out there for my fraternity um it was i want to say maybe it was like in november mm-hmm. hazing yeah, it was a hazing thing. Really? Oh, oh shit. No, it was a hazing thing. We called it, uh, I want to say it was called like Redemption or something like that. So they took all the pledges, they broke us off in the groups, they blindfolded us, and then they drove us out in the country in the middle of the night. And it was like a game, like, you guys have to come back. You have to make it back to the house. Oh, shit. Yeah, you told me this. Without yeah, getting this was caught. good. And if you get caught, we're going to drive you back further. And so they had the sophomores. Um, they weren't blindfolded, so they knew where we were at, so we wouldn't actually get lost. And so they were part of the game of getting us back. And so it's the middle of the winter. Everything's fucking frozen and cold and miserable. And I'm out, and we're we're running through fucking cornfields at like two twelve thirty in the morning, trying not to get caught to get back to the house. Oh. And uh, I, I remember at one point um, we were walking and we we were crossing this creek. And then like Wilson's like, "Oh shit, look at that!" And you look over, and there's just like this fucking turned over car. There's like no roads, but there's a turned over car in the creek. What the fuck? And it was just like, uh, "All right." What uh that's weird. Let's I don't give a fuck. Like I'm cold. Like I want to get back. It's twenty yeah. degrees outside. Yeah. <laughs> and so we started walking, we crossed the creek, and then on, on this land we were there was a there was a pond, like right here. And mm-hmm. so we're walking and then all of a sudden we hear like it sounds like someone's like running through the water, like just like sloshes, a pat, like a <laughs> ch- 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 yeah, a like someone's like <laughs> even like yeah, yeah, yeah like, like someone's crazy. running through yeah. the water and we all freeze and look <laughs> and there's nothing. And I don't see the water moving, and it was just like, what the fuck? And when we stopped and looked, it stopped. So, like, it's Jesus. was it one of us? Yeah, I mean, after yeah. just seeing this turned over car on the creek, so we're like, what the fuck was that? So, we're like, all right, maybe we're just tripping. Yeah. And Let's then get the fuck back to the we start walking, and like, fucking five seconds later, it happens again. And it's louder and faster, like something's running at us. Oh, shit. Uh, and fuck then that. <laughs> I remember I paused for a second just to turn and look. And um, Dave just was in a full sprint right by me. And so just he started running. Here. As soon as he passed me, I just like, I was on his ass. We were just like yeah. sprinting, running away. <laughs> and we ran across yeah. the entire field until we hit this dirt road. And we're all just out of breath. Like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Fuck that. This day, I don't know what it was. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was fucking Leatherface chasing us through the goddamn oh, no, right. water. Oh, <laughs> man, that's horrible. God, that's got to be fucking... Uh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I have you had anything weird happen to you like that? The closest thing I had happen to me that was, like, kind of scary was when I was younger. And um, I went to... I was in my house alone. And I used to have a Harry Potter room, which was like under a, a Harry staircase. Potter room. You had a Harry Potter room. <laughs> it was under a staircase. And um, I remember one day going to my kitchen, and all the lights were blacked out in like the living room and like my grandparents' bedroom and all that. And I start walking towards it, and I hear like tapping. It's something on the other side. And mm-hmm. I think it is, but no one's home. Mm-hmm. So the closer I get to the door, I start hearing, like I shit you not, the sound from the grudge. That exact sound. Oh, uh, the uh, yeah. I start hearing that, and once like I peek my head through the door, like I see a shadow move, 
and the sound gets louder, and I just run to my room, grab a knife, and sit there, <laughs> like <laughs> waiting for something Fuck to attack that. me. Dude, your house looks creepy, man. It's, it's, yeah. It is pretty creepy. Yeah, your your house looks pretty fucking you, creepy. <laughs> you st- how old were you? I was probably eighteen. 17? I would have ran outside. No one would have ran back to my room. You crazy? That's how you die. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, he wanted to kill something. You should see he wanted. He grabbed his knife. <laughs> no, I, actually, at that time, I was like still non-violent. So I was just there like shaking, <laughs> hoping that thing was going to run into my <laughs> knife. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but that's... Just hold it out. Yeah. Like, please run into it. If you were just running into your room into nothingness, that would probably be a bad idea. But at least yeah. you grabbed a knife, so that's yeah, I mean, horror movie logic. At least you grabbed a, some type of weapon. A, a weapon. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. But like, if you're going to barricade yourself, at least have a weapon. Because mm-hmm. if yeah. you're just with nothing, then, well, you're just sitting bait. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, now if I hear just any strange sound like at my door, I'm there ready with my katana to just fucking draw it on whatever comes through. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Fucking katana. laughs> I'm just like, let's go. You ready? Let's see who's faster. Oh, God. Uh, I am one with the blade. <laughs> hey, I'm down. Let's go to Kansas. I'll get a holy water katana. <laughs> <laughs> holy water katana. Bless <laughs> us some holy water. Let's fucking, go. When you, when you pull it out, it shoots out water at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I got one. One more story from like Halloween in Kansas. It wasn't scary. It could have turned scary, um, but it was actually kind of funny. Like uh, I didn't know what I was going to dress up as, and uh, my one guy was closer in the house. Like uh, like Mike, he didn't know either. And then all of a sudden, like uh, two guys in the house, Tony and Disney, um, come in the room and they're dressed as gay cowboys. Nice. Um, yes, they have like <laughs> these blue furry boots and hats. They got some jean shorts, cut them all the way out, They're real happy, short. Y'all. And so we're like, "Fuck it, like we'll be gay cowboys too." And so cut us some jeans, fucking short shorts, tight pearl snap. Got a cowboy hat. And so we're like, "All right, we're gonna go out." Yep. And then Mike was a gay Mexican, and it was just a gay Mexican. A gay Mexican. <laughs> it was just a poncho that That's... he like tied was really rainbow. short. <laughs> no, it was just really short, like a skirt. You know, like if it was an like inch, a sexy poncho, like if sexy poncho. If it was an inch higher, his balls would have been hanging out. Fuck oh, yeah! Um, and so he we went to some party. That's not the story. It was like whatever. And then we were drunk. And we're, <laughs> it is pretty terrifying. <laughs> and I think we were leaving. And so on our way back, we're like, let's go. I don't remember the name of the the bar, but like, let's drive by. We're all dressed as gay cowboys. Let's go by the country western bar, Coyotes. <laughs> let's go to Coyotes. <laughs> Let's go to the Redneck is oh, Bar. <laughs> exactly. We're like, let's go to Coyotes and let's go pose in front of the bar sign. You know? <laughs> and so we get there and there's a line outside. So we're like, uh, fuck it. And like, who cares? Like, yeah. fuck these guys. And there's a bunch of real cowboys outside, all white. <laughs> And we get out looking oh super gay, <laughs> and they weren't accepting of it. <laughs> and so like, we yeah. decided to pose in an Eiffel Tower um, in front of the Coyote sign. Oh. And as soon as we got out of the car, and people saw us. And fuck, fuck it. Like, yeah. people just started oh my God. yelling, all this just homophobic. Hey, look at these queers over here. Yeah, and then, oh like, God. yeah. And so we got out and posed for a couple Eiffel Tower pictures and then <laughs> <laughs> jumped back in the car and got the fuck oh out of there. Oh, my God. Yeah, that could have been very Yeah, like, that would have been, been really, really bad. bad. <laughs> it was real quick. Oh, fuck. Imagine. Oh, God. That was funny. <laughs> No, nah, I mean, I've had a couple a couple scary ones. Well, not really scary, but they were just odd. Yeah. Like, um, and they all happened at my old house. Actually, one of them didn't happen at my old house. I'll, save, I'll, I'll save that story for when we come back from the break. But I, okay. at the old house, there's one instance where it was, um, it was me and my buddy Harley. I'll tell that one first. Some, some a guy that I knew in high school and everything. Mm-hmm. We're uh, we were getting ready to go, uh, or no, we were just getting back. We were getting back from a party, and he was crashing at my iPad, and we so we went. And we were in my garage and we were smoking. And we were smoking and we're standing there and we're chilling. We're having a good time, and then all of a sudden, my garage, just my garage, started shaking. What like, what, yeah, like the like the door was rumbling. Like it was it was fucking rumbling. Like, it was so loud that me and him stopped mid-conversation, and we're looking around like, like, is this a fucking earthquake right now or something? But it, it stops, and I'm like, yeah, like, let's go fucking, let's go through on the news. Like, this, like it, it has to be on the news. We, go, we get out, or we, we go inside, and uh, Lauren, my sister, is, is sitting on the couch watching TV, and I, I'm asking her, I'm like, oh, did you feel that right now? And she was like, what? 
I was like, you didn't feel that earthquake? And she was like, what earthquake? Oh, shit. And I was like, no. I was like, wait, just watch. Like, there's going to be an earthquake. Like, it's, it's going to show a report right now. And we turn on the TV or we, we change the channel. Mm-hmm. And we're flipping through the channels and we throw on the news. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, shit. Nothing fucking came on. I, I still, to this day, I cannot, cannot explain. So, like, the wind just came through? How that fucking quick? happened. No, it wasn't windy. That's weird. It was, yeah, it was. It was like it everything was, yeah, started it was, rumbling. It, yeah, it was a summer night. Like, it was, you know, it was, like, it was a regular night. All clear, like, perfect. Like, mm-hmm. damn. No idea. That's pretty Another cool. night, same garage, this time with my buddy Gabriel. And uh, same thing. We're just chilling, smoking, you know, having a good time, hanging mm-hmm. out. And, um... And it's not it's not weird to hear noises on top of our garage because where our garage is, it's right next to two giant trees. So animals, so squirrels, yeah, squirrels all the possums, time. Possums, raccoons, yeah, possum, raccoon, birds. It's so it's not it's not weird to hear shit on the roof. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so we heard we heard what sounded like footsteps. They were a little heavier. But I was like, oh, like it, it like a fat it's, raccoon. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's nothing. It's 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 nothing. But we heard it, and we can hear like it's like it started like right in the middle, and we uh-huh. heard doom, 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 and oh. then and then we both yeah, and then we both heard it, what sounded like feet hitting like hitting concrete when you jump off of something. Yeah, it just sounded like a like a quick like yeah, yeah like some like someone landed on the ground and then and then took off like someone booked it. What the fuck? Maybe. And I, I get, yeah, like it, it. It was loud enough that Gabriel swung his head around to see who was there, like see who was behind him. Because again, we're we're not paying attention to the sound because we hear that shit all the time. Yeah. yeah. When it when we heard it hit the fucking ground, we expected to turn to to look and see something there, but there was nothing fucking there. What the fuck? Hmm. Nothing there. It's creepy. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say it was probably Greg. That <laughs> 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 no, no, definitely was was not Greg. <clears throat> but actually, actually, I still have another. I still have another one that I'm going to let you guys in and uh, tell you guys about. But uh, there's still a little bigger story to that one. <clears throat> um, we're going to take a break. Actually, this new band that I found is called Fused by Defiance. It was actually recommended to us by our good friend Bria Beatrice. She's an old uh, colleague of my brother Ryan's when he was in Blaze the Thunder, mm-hmm. and. Uh, I reached out to her and told her, "Hey, because she, because she's a roadie. Uh, that I mean, that's what." I know who is she I just can... touring with. Or ICP, yeah. She's oh with yeah, yeah. ICP and uh, and uh, Death Machine, I think is is mm-hmm. or no, uh, it wasn't it wasn't Death Machine. Fuck, I can't remember right now. It's on my phone. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, she's on tour with with ICP and another uh, another band that uh, is opening up for them. And uh, she actually said she'll come on the show later on when she gets back. So we're looking very forward to that. She gave, sent me a whole list of all these bands to, to check out and to show you guys and everything. This is another one that I like uh, called Fused by Defiance. They are based out of Los Angeles. So go ahead and give a listen. Let me know what you think. This is their song, um, Payback, off of their first EP, I guess, their first album, Weapons of Mass Distract- Distraction. Cool. Yeah, sorry, I'm getting sweaty now. It's fucking hot. (laughs) So we'll be right back. We got to get some air. Not 
Positive, my grandpa was just fucking with us. We were talking about him, and out of nowhere, his picture falls. Yeah, his picture falls, nothing. It's on the piano, and it like dives off the piano onto the ground. Across the room, nobody's standing there. And then, when my grandma, like, right before she kind of started going senile, she's like screaming her head off and running there, like, What's going on, mama? And she's like, I saw Art, he was standing at the foot of my bed. I wouldn't be surprised if she actually did like, see his ghost or something in his bucket. So that's the type of that's the type of person you know, he likes to fuck. So I wouldn't be especially her. He likes to scare her and shit, like pull cool pranks on her. So I wouldn't be surprised because he knows his wife who died and his wife getting denial and but I like my cool fuck with her. But it's like it's casual, it's not like we're haunted as evil because it's just just like no I'm pretty sure because it's every time we're talking about him or it's always been like there's a picture of him that fell like there's tons of pictures of the piano the only picture that dove off the piano I mean Yeah, those are the leftovers. Like that. <clears throat> All right. You chase your that whiskey was with payback. beer. Payback by Fuse by Defiance again. They're a band based out of uh, Los Angeles, California. California. Uh, be, be sure to check them out on Facebook and all your uh, major social media networks and everything. Um, yeah. We were talking about ghost shit, ghost stories, and all that fucking crazy nonsense. The haunting. Uh, yeah. The I don't haunting. have anything like that's too like haunted that happened to me. Like I was telling you guys, like. I'm pretty sure it was our grandpa. My grandpa mm-hmm. just fucked with us. It's a friendly us. ghost. It was a friendly ghost. We were talking mm-hmm. about him, and then out of nowhere, his picture like falls off the piano. Like it doesn't mm-hmm. just like tip over; like it launches off of the piano, 
down on the seat and then to the floor. Like it just. Mm-hmm. Um, so pretty sure it's just fucking with us. And then when my grandma was getting kind of old and senile, all of a sudden in the middle of the night, she just starts screaming and we run in there. Bloody murder. Yeah. <laughs> we, my aunt runs in there and my, they're like, what's wrong? What's wrong, mama? And she's like, I, I saw Art. He was standing at the foot of my bed. And we're like, he's, he's dead. And she's like, I, I know. He was standing right there. Motherfucker was there. <laughs> he left me dead in the eye. And he said, see you soon, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not far off. <laughs> if, I, if, that, if we ever get like, that's exactly what I'm going to do to you. Oh, if you die before, before me, you, uh-huh, you're I'm just going to fuck with me so they yeah. all think I'm senile and put me in a crazy home. Yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait exactly one week before you die. And then show up and be like, see you soon, bitch. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Thanks. I appreciate mm-hmm. that. And then you'll die three days later because then you'll want to get back to me and be like, did you call me a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. That's the first thing I'll say to you in, in heaven. I'll be like, motherfucker. Just, just call me a bitch. <laughs> Ghost revenge. <clears throat> yep. That sounds about right. <clears throat> I'm going to take a do shot you, of whiskey. Do Excuse it. me. <laughs> that is, yeah, it is leftovers. Shot, shot, yeah. shot. Greg's night night juice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Please tell that story. Oh I was freaking man. dying. <clears throat> so you want to you want to start, Matt? Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, again, we've mentioned that my brother had his bachelor party. So the plan was uh, we were going to go to San Diego Friday, Friday, and then Saturday we we're gonna uh, go fishing. Sea fishing, sea deep sea fishing. Deep sea fishing, which, by the way, was a terrible idea. It is a horrible idea. And me and Ryan, everyone was saying that from the beginning. Yeah. If you do not think you will, if you're like, nah, I got a strong stomach, I'm not going to get seasick. No, you will get seasick. I mean, I didn't get seasick. Uh, Fuck you, right? (laughs) I think if you get seasick normally, you'll definitely get seasick. I'm just like it was. Wait, 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 wait. If you get seasick in any type of regular boat situation, you'll get seasick oh, if you're okay. deep sea fishing. Because what you just said. Well, I mean, isn't that <laughs> this kind of the I know. Same I, was gonna, thing? I mean, there are people if who If you go get on, seasick like, real easy, you'll definitely get seasick. <laughs> I mean, like. That's what you just said right now. If you get seasick on, like, it's a small world, <laughs> you'll get seasick. Is it, would that be considered? Se- I mean, I, no, think I that's don't just know. Motion sickness. Motion sickness. Yeah. If you get motion sickness, yes. You yeah, definitely you'll definitely. Get. I yeah. mean, I remember I've I've gotten kind of seasick, not I'm not throwing up, but when Either I. Either way, it's not fucking cool, and <laughs> don't do don't go deep sea yeah. fishing after a night of drinking. Like, oh, yeah. even <laughs> before, like weeks, months before, like when Ryan was talking about this fishing trip, and he was like, "It's Saturday at six in the morning." I'm like, "You're out of your fucking mind!" Like, are we going to bed at mm-hmm. eight o'clock as soon as we roll into San Diego? I'm like, "No, we're here for a bachelor party. We're gonna get fucked up and be up all mm-hmm. night, and we're gonna go be on this boat. Like, this is a dumb idea." And uh, I remember in the yeah. morning, me and Matt were the last ones to get out of bed. And this was miserable. Yeah. And I remember I was just like, if I Matt... threw up on the way in because I was hungover. Oh, yeah. We had to stop for you to puke. But I just yeah. remember before we left, and like, I remember you came and laid down. I was like, all right, if Matt says he's not going to go, I'm not going to go. So I was just like <laughs> waiting. I'm like, Matt, God, yeah. I'm like, Matt, say something. And here, so I was, not the one. here I was thinking, if you, Steve says he's not going to go, then I'm not going to go. <laughs> yeah. So I was just like, fuck. And you're waiting for each yeah. other to bitch out. Mm-hmm. And so we go, and it was everything we thought it was going to be. Horrible. It was awful. Nobody really caught any fish. Mm-hmm. Matt, was Matt, you were done yeah. oh, the yeah. entire time. Like just sitting on this. I felt so bad. Like Matt is just sitting on the stairs mm-hmm. by himself. Hating life. Yeah, he kept puking. I can't look at anybody because if I open my eyes, I'm going to throw up. Yeah. So I had to sit there with my eyes closed and feel the boat rock back and forth and like just kind of pretend like, okay, it is God rocking me to sleep. <laughs> it was, I am. I, this is a lullaby. <laughs> yeah, like it, it wasn't fucking cool. Yeah, like hour two in, I was just like, I went off of this fucking boat. Like this is not fun. <laughs> You know, I'm like, what time is it? It's like, it's 10. I'm like, fuck, fuck. you. <laughs> fuck you. Like, yeah. <laughs> and then, and so. I know we got there. We got there at six and we didn't even get open. We didn't hit open water until like nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. And then we had Greg, the Gerg. Yeah. The Gerg. Uh, oh, man. He made the boat trip memorable. Yeah. Because if it wasn't for him, it would just it all. It would have been really horrible. Be bad. <laughs> yeah. It would have been completely terrible if it wasn't for Greg. Yeah. 
So they served beer on the boat, and mm-hmm. Greg took full advantage. And, and, and they had a tab. Yeah, it was a tab that you had to open. That you had to you pay. Yeah. At, you paid at the end. That was the thing. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! Yeah, and so <laughs> Greg go. He goes and gets fucked up, and. What we uh, he fucking what, yells what, at everybody? <laughs> what didn't he do? Like he pissed off all the deckhands. Yeah, he pissed off point, all the deckhands. He called the, he called a random stranger a piece of shit. Yeah, to that his face fucking the Chinese for, guy. Yeah, for crossing a line that was his fault. He's like, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. It's like, oh goddamn, oh, Greg, you fucking oh, piece shit. of shit. It's like the captain would come on the intercom, like nobody dropped, you know, the line. Oh yeah, nobody dropped the line, and then he drops his line. Like Greg, like I know, and then pull it like, out. please, yeah, please don't drop your and line. I don't give a fuck. God damn it! Like, in <laughs> it, 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 and I think the highlight, the highlight was at. I don't know if you remember if you were standing there for your conscious yet. Um, Greg caught a bird. No, oh, yeah, yeah, I was there. Yeah, I was yeah, there. I was, I was, I, I was conscious. I saw that. I bird. saw it. I saw it catch it, and I was like, I don't know this guy anymore. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know what to do. Like I didn't believe. Like I, he kept saying he caught a bird. And I didn't believe him because I'm like, there's a bunch of birds there's flying. Bi- yeah, there's birds everywhere, I see dude. a fucking bird. And then he starts reeling it in. I see it skipping across the water. And it's just like, oh, what my God. What the fuck, yeah. And then the boat starts moving. So now he's dragging it with the boat and reeling it in. Yeah. And then he and stops it- reeling it in. And then all of a sudden, the bird just goes underwater. Oh, yeah. Oh and then he looks at the deck and I caught a bird. And it's like <laughs> they're like, yeah. Now you're drowning it. Like reel yeah. it in so he can let it go. And then the line snaps. No, yeah, he let, yeah he, let, he, he let lets it. the line yeah he lets the line go. It took the line. God yeah, damn, it was poor bird. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was worse. And then well, and then we went home and then we were all knocked out for yeah went down. And then um, well uh, okay actually. Yes, we all we all got we all went home. We knocked out. Greg was still kind of awake, trying to get everybody riled up, but he knew like everybody was fucking was was tired and wanted to go to bed. So he goes down. Greg is finally down, and um, around six o'clock, four yeah five six o'clock, everybody starts waking up. You know from yeah. after the boat and everything. And we're all talking, like, what are we going to do? You know, what's going on? What are we going to do with Greg? With Greg, Because he doesn't have a valid ID. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. So yes. he can't get in at any of the bars or breweries or anything. So we're like... Even though he looks old as fuck. Yeah. It's not like he's some kid. Yeah, that's like, another, yeah. that was another funny thing. Like, for those happened. of you who don't know the Greg, like, he's... <laughs> He's, he's a more, old. Yeah, he's, he's, he's his face. He's is an old punk. Leather. Like, yeah. Like, I yeah. remember we were on the oh, boat. yeah, we were on the had, boat. You had uh, the sunscreen, which I left on the boat, by yeah. the way. Lovely. <laughs> so Matt had sunscreen. I was like, oh, shit. Like, I Lost need that. Sunscreen. Like, I don't want to come back looking like a slave. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me use that. So I, I put you know, <laughs> some, some sunblock on. His joke, then, not mine. Yeah. <laughs> I put some sunblock on. And then Greg just goes on this little rant. He's like, I fucking hate sunblock. I, hate I never sunblock. use it. Like, ever I since I was a kid. or lotion. Yeah, I never use it or lotion. I just looked at him like. I could tell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like he, if you didn't, if you didn't have to tell me, like I could tell just by looking at you. No, then, I know. <laughs> and then all I wanted to do the entire weekend was just hold him down and moisturize his face, <laughs> <laughs> like, rub it on his elbows and like, shit. Come on, Greg. Kinky. Uh, yeah, and so, so what were you saying? Like he, yeah, we were all up, and he finally passed he out. Finally passed out. Yeah. He didn't go. He didn't sleep Friday night. No, yeah, he didn't sleep at all Friday night. He stood up the entire time, all the way through the boat ride and everything. Finally got home, got mm. tired enough to fall asleep. Fell asleep at two p.m. Of course. God damn. Yeah, we leave we and we're gone. Like that's it. We leave. We yeah, have we a good time. Yeah, we yeah we left them a note. We left. We yeah, we went and had a good time. Went to all the fucking places that we wanted to go. We get back at twelve thirty. And you guys and knew. we're yeah we're getting back and on our drive back we're coming to the realization that we are getting home to a fully renovated, newly rejuvenated, reju- yeah, refreshed, rejuvenated, refreshed, one hundred percent, full on, ready to party, fucking Gerg. <laughs> And that's and exactly we're like, what we got. And, yeah, and we so we get home. We get home, and, and a wild we ask Greg him, appeared. Yeah, we get home. It's twelve thirty at night. We get home, and we ask him like, "Yo, what time did you wake up?" Oh, maybe about fifteen minutes before you guys got here. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. 50, he later fessed up. It was probably like an hour. So but. I'm I'm giving it an hour. Mm-hmm. So from two p.m. to eleven thirty p.m., this guy's been asleep. Yeah. God damn. And it, again, if you do not know this guy. 
when Gerg is awake, he is awake, motherfucker. All right, and you better be ready to fucking party. Especially yeah, if he's wanting to party. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> like we were there for um, our brothers, his best friends, fucking bachelor party. Like he was ready to fucking rock and roll. So we were like, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, because we came in, we still had beer, so we were drinking yeah. in the house. But then it started to notice, like, all right, Greg's starting to get drunk, and he's starting to get loud, loud. for oh. no reason. We're all just in the mm-hmm. living room, just sitting there, across from each other, talking, and he's just, rah, 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 just yeah. loud as fuck. And it's just like, Fine. Oh, Yeah, then shit. somebody, yeah, they're, they're in the backyard uh, smoking a cigarette, or he was smoking a cigarette, but somebody had to, had to come out and be like, yo, shut the fuck up. There's families trying to sleep. Yeah. That was around 1.30. Yeah. So it's yeah. only an hour, and he's got, and he's starting to get there. Yeah, and then when he came back in, I remember I started to realize, like, oh shit, like he's not gonna fall asleep when we fall asleep. Like, no. Greg's gonna keep. Yeah, us up he's gonna all fucking night. keep going. I'm yeah, like, this is gonna fucking suck. And yeah. then Sean, Sean <laughs> came in and saved the fucking day. Uh, yeah, Sean made the very quickly made the realization that if we do not, if we do not succumb to his wants yeah. and get him completely fucked up. What he wasn't telling us was that only Greg needed to get fucked yeah. up. <laughs> we need to get him fucked up for him to pass so, out so we can all get some sleep. So where you start just feeding him shot after shot after yeah. fucking shot. Yeah. Like, okay, like everybody, let's, let's Cause we had sing it. Solo we had this big giant bottle, and when Greg started, it was maybe, you know. Yeah, it was like almost at it the was, top of the Yeah, line. it was like right, maybe right here. Yeah, like three by quarters the, yeah. full at least. Yeah, by the time we got it done, it was well into halfway. Like, yeah, like well into halfway yeah. of being done. By the time Gerg was done with it. And it worked. It fucking worked like we, magic. It got worse because he kept getting louder and he kept getting a little rowdy. And was like, uh-huh. right, just weather the and storm. Yeah, and he was getting mad because we were telling him to be quiet. Yeah. We were asking yeah. him to be quiet. And it was good. Well, why the fuck you got to judge me? It's like, dude, dude, we're not, ju- not yeah, judging. Not judging. Just telling you to shut the fuck up. Like, yeah, we fucking love you, but we, like, we don't want the cops to come, God damn it. Like, yeah. We don't have a fucking ID. Who yeah. knows what's going to happen? Yeah. And... <laughs> And it worked, and he like, he went down. To go down. Yeah, he, he started slowly, sh- slowly but surely, was getting you know tired and more groggy. And next thing you know, he's sitting on the couch, just moaning to himself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was mm-hmm. like, good job, Sean. Yeah. Like, <laughs> good thinking. And mm-hmm. then the morning. Uh, oh. the morning. <laughs> I was in the opposite room, like because Matt was sleeping in the living room. I was in the living room with him. Yeah, and I remember just a loud crash that woke me up. Six o'clock in the morning. We finally got Greg down at three thirty. Yeah, uh-huh. it was around there. Yeah, around three thirty. That was when Greg finally went down, and I fell asleep shortly after that. Mm-hmm. And at six o'clock in the morning, so two and a half hours later. M- Big giant fucking thud, huge thud. Wakes yeah. up the entire fucking house. Yeah, <laughs> it scared the shit. It scared the shit out of me. I look up and see Gerg on the floor, and I'm like, "Oh, okay, he just fell." Mm-hmm. Then fucking Rico, our, our another one of the guys that's there, Rico runs in and he's looking around, looking at me like we're under a fucking attack or something <laughs> from ISIS. Like he's looking around, like ready to fucking <laughs> grab shit, like you know, like head to the hills. <laughs> and he looks at me and he's like, "Did he fall?" And I was like, "Yeah." And he goes, oh, okay, good. <laughs> and he fucking turns around and really yeah. goes back to sleep. <laughs> so, uh, so that's, I mean, that's that, that's that. Like, he fucking Greg fell out of bed, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, that's that's what, that was funny, like, my perspective, because I just heard him crash, and in my head, I'm like, oh, shit, he woke up. Okay, I think he's fine. Yeah. And like, I, don't, I don't care. Yeah, he's I don't care enough yeah. to go. No, that was my reaction, too. I got up, and I was like, <gasps> like, my, like, I was just standing and watched and, like, made sure. Okay, he's asleep. <laughs> then, like for me, then, yeah, that was when Rico came in, and I was like, "No, nah, it's okay." Like, yeah, so I, I fell back asleep, and then next thing I know, um, Julian and Rico are walking through my room because it was like by the front door, and they're walking down. I kind of wake up, and they're like, "Well, Greg pissed himself." <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. And yeah, he, yeah, yeah, I had a, he, yeah because Julian got up. Julian got up. And saw Gary and was like was laughing, ha ha ha, whatever. And he he was barefoot, okay. And he walks to the kitchen and he walks back and he goes, "Oh fuck, someone spilled something." And I, he's and Rico's like, "What?" And he's like, "Someone spilled something. It's all wet right here." And and I'm still laying I'm still laying down, but I hear this and I'm like, 
Nobody fucking spilled anything last night, dude. Like nobody spilled anything <laughs> last night. I went like we all went down after Gerg went down. Nobody <laughs> spilled anything. So I got up. I got up and I look at the couch and it is two fucking <laughs> different colors. Oh no. And I'm like, no fucking way. And I look and then I look at Greg and he's got a giant fucking puddle next to it, like in it. He's in the puddle. On the floor. On the floor. And I'm like, no fucking way. <laughs> and Julian walks out and he's like, what? And I'm <laughs> looking at him all, he fucking pissed himself. <laughs> like, so And he's much. like, no way, did he? And I was like, yeah, he fucking pissed himself. We got we got Greg so fucking drunk. <laughs> he made him piss himself. Oh, I felt shit. bad. Yeah. I felt bad after that. I was like, oh shit, like we no, did that too. I don't, I don't think people understand like how much piss we're talking. Like he's on the floor oh, in a puddle. Yeah, his own piss. And there was already a puddle in the couch. The couch has a giant puddle on it. There's just piss everywhere. And then Ryan went to go grab the cushion to take it outside, lifts the cushion up, and piss starts just dripping, dripping out, out of the fucking Aww. kitchen. Was it was like a sponge of piss. Yeah. Oh, no, that poor couch. Oh, Oh, uh, fuck. God, I just remember your brother's face. Like, dude, and but up. thank fucking God this guy was so prepared. We had detergent and fabric softener, working washer and dryer. Oh, yeah, uh, like this guy, this guy knew he's he had like, a party house. He's like, whatever the fuck you yeah, do, just yeah. clean it up. He knew he had a party but house. It was, still, it was still kind of a chore to get Greg up. Oh, and I mean, of course, him. yeah. That he pissed himself because he thought we were fucking with him. Dude, he's still unconvinced. He 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 did, he wasn't convinced that he pissed himself even when they were leaving. Even as they were leaving, it's like, oh, you guys are just you fucking guys are with just me. fucking with me. Like, no, no. <laughs> like we will not fuck with you. <laughs> not like that. that. Not like that. And wait, wait, so why? This is Greg logic right here. So he thinks that we wet him. Yeah. Then dried him, and then insisted on him taking a shower, all as an elaborate prank to make him think that he pissed himself. <laughs> right, because that makes absolutely sense. We were sense. able to get his pants to wash his we got, pants. Yeah, we, we were able to get his pants off. And but he shirt. didn't shower, and he didn't change his underwear. Yeah, uh, yeah, he had the Lovely. same pissy underwear <laughs> and fucking... Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. God damn it. Dude, and, and he rode the rest of the way home with Rico and Julian. I cannot imagine how that fucking ride home know, <laughs> smelled. <seriously. laughs> oh, they probably kept the windows down the entire fucking way. Probably didn't talk. I know Rico was was done with Greg. Oh, uh, probably, nah, probably. Are you kidding me? How can you not? How can you not talk to Greg in a car? Like, hey, shut the fuck up, man. All right, yeah. <laughs> even if it's that. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Why does shit everybody was hilarious. think I'm mad all the time? I know. Why does everybody think I'm fucking mad all the time? <laughs> that was another like good one liner oh from the fucking God. boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, what are you mad at? Like Julie's like, what are you mad about now? Like, Why the Why fuck, the fuck does everybody think, think I'm mad, mad all the time? <laughs> like, uh, oh my God. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe. But uh, all in all, it was a fucking amazing, amazing weekend. Um, I f- yeah, I fucking love you, Julian. If you if you listen to this, man, it was a great fucking time. Mm-hmm. So happy that we did. We got to do this. Yeah, the I feel like it was his perfect bachelor party. Oh yeah, it was. It uh, really was. It, had like, it was everything. the most successful. Yeah, it definitely was the most successful. Well, according to Ryan. Yeah, I it mean was it, it was wild, and it had of. its it had its fucking well, it had Greg. Yeah, but yeah, that, yeah, Greg. that made it Julian's bachelor party. Mm-hmm. It wouldn't have been Julian's bachelor party if he didn't have the yeah, Greg. Yeah, because we went to that one. We yeah, to that and, one and then a, again, yeah, again, he, uh, Greg was drunk enough. Still, the next se- the the last day that we were there, he was still drunk enough to stay asleep. That we were again able to go out and do brewery stuff and yeah. And, and not have to shit. worry and about it. After, yeah, and then when <laughs> and then when we came back, of course, did I piss myself? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I didn't fucking piss myself. <laughs> yeah, I know. Did you hear? He did that like he like six times. It was it's, first. It started <laughs> off with Ryan. He, I don't think he remembers us waking him up. He doesn't. When I went no. in the room, like I, I was like, Greg, you got, we got to go. We got to go. Like, get yeah. up. He's, he's like, like, all right, I don't get up. And then I left. They did something. I went back in the room. I'm like, come on, Greg, like get up. And he's like, oh, like stop fucking with me. Like everybody else is laying down. I'm like. <laughs> Greg, Everyone, everyone's like Greg, awake. We're, yeah, we just got back from like three breweries. Like, no, we we're supposed to be out of here at noon. <laughs> we're yeah. drunk, motherfucker. Like, it's three o'clock. Like, get out of bed. He's like, really? He's like, nah. yes. I don't. Yeah. So I don't think he remembers like any of it. Yeah, of him being the caterpillar in the fucking middle of the floor. Yeah. Oh man, that was fucking beautiful. In his blanket. Oh. <laughs> 
Sounds, <laughs> sounds like a bachelor party, though. Mm-hmm. It was. It was. It was very successful, and I'm, I'm very happy that was. Mm-hmm. That was the outcome. Oh, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah. The Good sad one. and funny thing is, besides the pissing yourself thing, is I am my friend's Greg. Like that's, that's pretty you? much me in <laughs> Vegas. No. No, no, you nobody's you think, you, nobody's meet Greg, Greg yeah. and then you, you you'll change your mind. Like, yeah, nobody is like Greg. Believe, yeah, believe me, nobody wants to be a Greg, yeah. but nobody can be a Greg either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know what know. you're talking about though. You're like that drunk ass friend who's like, wait, where is he? Like your friends probably keep track of you, and you're fucking. You'd probably piss yourself, but you know, at least Greg you, takes it to another level. Yeah, at least at least with you, your friends don't have to worry about like, oh, well, I wonder if he's gonna have a court date in two two months yeah. or something. No, like, <laughs> think about this. Remember, I think uh, you were there. I think at one point we're like, "Where's Greg?" It's quiet. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's something too quiet. Yeah, something. That was me. That's that's what I was. Yeah. Like. yeah, I was looking around. I was like, "Hey, where's Greg?" Like, it's way too for quiet. Him. Yeah, we were like looking for him. We went into the back and everything, and then I was like, "Oh fuck, I hope he's in the room." And then we checked the room, and he was asleep. Yeah, uh-huh. it's like oh, that bad. <laughs> the fact that we like it's just quiet now. Like something happened, or something yeah. could have went wrong. Something. Yeah. <laughs> like, where Where is he? It's too quiet. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys. I think we're gonna go ahead and call it here. This has been another successful episode of Rat. We're gonna talk about how Hugh Hefner died. But yeah, he oh yeah, died. Hugh Hefner yeah. died. Yeah, R. Hugh Hefner. Yeah, he rest in peace, Hugh Hefner, man. <laughs> thank, thank you for titties, dude. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for titties. Woo. <laughs> titties are amazing. <laughs> tits. Tits. So we're gonna end it on tits. <laughs> uh, not even gonna play the song. <laughs> now this. Uh, <laughs> thank you again, everybody, for coming in. One, Steve. Thank you for coming back and yeah, uh, no fill, filling thanks the air for us and everything. Yeah, thanks, guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then thank you all listeners that have been tuning in and uh, following and whatnot. Be sure to share the yeah. episode and let her all, let your friends know whatnot. If you see us around and uh, you uh, you just go, hey, man, can I have a T-shirt? We'll give you a T-shirt. We will all give right. you T-shirts. We still have a few left, so uh, be sure to hit us up and be cool like that. We're going to take it out on another song by Fuse by Defiance off the EP Fuse by Defiance. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting it to be a different name, but it's not. <laughs> nope. uh, but uh, actually, this is a song that I liked from them that I was listening to called Chemical Incision. Uh, we'll take it out on that. And thank you so much. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> Oh, they brought you to the yard? You didn't have milkshakes, so did the milkshakes really bring you to the yard?